I look a bit of both. Um, you know, it's it's obviously an exciting week after you know you're in a grand final and um, you know you hear about all the stuff that you're going to be doing throughout the week. But now we've really you know, had a good team meeting this morning, really lock in to what uh, we need to do on the weekend and that's all we're focused about now. And uh, uh, We'll get to Melbourne tonight and have the parade tomorrow, but uh, look, we're fully focused and know what we have to do to win this game of footy. And um, But we also know there's downtime as well, so just to relax when that happens. You know, it's what you dream of when you're a young kid to play in a grand final and, um, you know, soak it all in. And um, But no, you've got a job to do and play your role and that's all we have to do is just stick to the basics of what we know wins games of footy. Um, but definitely, um, you know, enjoy it and um, and take it all in. But and you know, take your opportunity. Oh, look, we saw last week how good he played, so I've got no doubt that he can play on. Um, but look, we're not even really thinking about that this week, and um, you know, we just want to play the right way this week. And I'm sure he wants to put in a another good performance uh, like he did last week. And um, look, I haven't thought about it much this week, and. I'm sure when the dust settles, you know, in the next few weeks, he'll decide what he wants to do. Oh, you can't measure it. It's been unbelievable. You know, when he decides to retire, no one can, uh, you know, replace Adam Goods and, um, you know, two Brownlows, two premierships and uh, being F, countless awards. We all know what he's done, um, but more of a, a friend. He's been an unbelievable friend to a lot of us and um, so he cannot be replaced. But, um, yeah, look, we'll wait and see. Oh, look, yeah, at, you know, third grand final in a row, they're an unbelievable team, a prelim before that. So they've been up for so long and... Uh, we highly respect these guys and the way they go about it. Um, you know, it's going to be a huge task. It's always one in the midfield, I think. Um, you know, both teams got really good midfields, and uh, that hard contested footy type of um, game is what you're going to see in a grand final. And um, you know, forwards up both end are quite dangerous, and the defenders uh, work well together. So, you know, we both ended up on top of the ladder at the same points, and um, yeah, look, it's going to be a cracker. Oh, look, it means a lot. Um, you know, to our supporters. Um, you know, they've supported us, you know, there was a long wait of about 72 years before the first one and then they didn't have to wait too long for another. So, uh, look, we get an opportunity to, to fly the flag for us this weekend and, you know, this group of players gets a great opportunity and um, look what I mean, you know, you know, a lot to the players, but for, for AFL in New South Wales, it'll be huge. Um, but as I've said before, there's, there's two hours of hard work against one of the best teams, you know, of the last decade. Yeah, it'd be fine. Um, you know, a lot of players don't train at this time of year. Um, you know, it's pretty standard. Uh, look, he's pulled up well after Friday. I think he said he was a bit nervous uh, the Friday night, but um, you know, over the weekend he's pulled up well and he'll train today and hopefully get through and yeah, no worries there. Well, look, I think it's both team strengths, to be honest. Um, there's so many guys that can go through there um, for both teams, but yeah, look, we see our mid as a real strength and you know, we always say every week that that's where, you know, the game is won. I think it'll be there again. Uh, guys like Smith and Hill on the outside, uh, look, we know how dangerous they can be and um, the likes of Mitchell and Hodge feeding it out to those guys. They're so skilled and composed with the ball. Um, you know, you really have to get that pressure inside right so we can help our outside runners. And, um, you know, guys like Burgoyne, you know, who's one of my favourite players, he, you know, always steps up at the right moment to, you know, to kick a goal or make a big tackle or something like that. So they're the, you know, the types of guys we've got to really worry about. Oh, we did that probably back then as a review, um, but more focused on what happened last week in their finals. Um, there was a few things that we took out of the game that we did well and did poorly. So, you know, stopping those momentum run-ons is one thing. You know, you can't afford to let a team like the Hawks get, you know, five or six in a row. You've got to limit that to one or two and, you know, try and get one back yourself. Oh, he's an outstanding player, isn't he? Um, yeah, look, he, you know, it's a big decision for them and, you know, we can't control that. We'll probably find out tonight if you, um, if he's in or out, but uh, look, we'll plan accordingly. But obviously he's a, you know, he's a big game player. He's an electric um, player when he's out there and can really hurt you. So we're going to uh, you know, be on a game if he plays or whoever else, you know, may come in.